Welcome back, agents. Despite the many mistakes of the Foundation, their experience and resources can undoubtedly be used for good. The documents we'll explore today detail a collaborative effort between GOC operatives and the SCP Foundation to contain an anomaly. Sometimes, containment is the only option to preserve normalcy, especially when an anomaly becomes ingrained in human culture itself. Item number SCP-2163 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2163 cannot be physically contained due to its size, geographical distribution, and place in modern human culture. Instead, containment efforts are focused on early detection and neutralization of cognitive hazards generated by SCP-2163. Due to the rate at which SCP-2163 generates new content, total manual inspection is impossible. Instead, the automated watchdog system analyzes media created by SCP-2163 for common traits shared by most cognitive hazards originating from it. Details on watchdog means of operation and methods of detecting cognitive hazards are restricted to personnel with clearance level L3, watchdogs, or above. When combined with manual inspection of the highest risk sources, this system has a success rate of approximately 94%. Standard quarantine procedures are used to contain any cognitive hazards detected this way. Recovered cognitive hazards are documented under sub-designations of SCP-2163. Mutual sharing of detection statistics with the GOC has been authorized for purposes of improving detection rates. Detection statistics for the prior month should be exchanged at the end of each month. A special liaison position has been created for this purpose. In the event of widespread dissemination of an SCP-2163 cognitive hazard, implementation of protocol blackout, in full or in part, is authorized. All personnel with clearance L4-2163 or above have provisional nuclear authorizations while protocol blackout is in effect. Further information on protocol blackout is restricted to personnel with clearance L3-blackout or above. Clearance accepted. Accessing documentation of protocol blackout. Protocol blackout is a series of emergency measures designed to halt or slow the spread of memetic and or communicable cognitive hazards that have been widely disseminated and or threatened global dissemination resulting in one or more K-class events. Protocol blackout includes the following provisions. Suppression of print and broadcast news media. Release of aggressive, infectious, destructive, self-replicating computer programs with the intent of disabling or destroying some or all of the global computing and internet infrastructure, sabotage of national and transnational wide area synchronous grids, destruction of key global communication relays and interconnections, mass amnestization of the global populace, termination of infected civilians, collateral damage amongst the uninfected populace is expected and allowed high-altitude detonation of nuclear devices in order to disable or destroy large segments of the world electrical infrastructure, release of anomalous counter-memes. Additionally, Protocol Blackout grants should be provisional occurrences to members of the memetics and cognitive hazards departments while in effect. Description SCP-2163 is the North American film industry, commonly referred to with the metonym Hollywood where much of the industry has traditionally been located. SCP-2163 is one of the larger sources of cognitive hazards, creating more than 300 cognitive hazards a year. This rate is increasing. These cognitive hazards are largely generated unintentionally, arising accidentally, during the course of normal film production. Similar phenomena have been observed in other regional film industries, in particular the Indian and European industries, which have been given their own designations. For a detailed analysis of this phenomena, see Jacobson Hussein, an analysis of modern mass media as massive cognitive hazard generators, fieldwork, and SCP Foundation Journal, 2008, 601. These cognitive hazards vary markedly in form and effect, but there are several traits that are shared by many of them, namely, all cognitive hazards produced by SCP-2163 are communicable, although to varying degrees. 
visual cognitive hazards often contain rapid changes in brightness, contrast, and color. Most are short sequences of film, less than 5 seconds long. Very few are still images. Auditory cognitive hazards rarely contain human speech. Most are short, repetitive pieces of music, containing string instruments and or synthesized sounds. Those that do contain human speech are usually behavior-altering in their effects. Info hazards are uncommon. When they do appear, they are often lines of dialogue, monologue, or narration. These are the hardest to detect automatically and often the most dangerous. Research into safe means of neutralizing SCP-2163 and similarly massive cognitohazard generators is ongoing. Currently, it is impossible to do so without causing a mass cultural shift. This has been deemed an acceptable consequence if, when, the rate of cognitohazard generation surpasses the rate of detection by more than 12%. Addendum 2163-1 The documentation for SCP-2163-1995-201 SCP-2163-2005-058 and SCP-2163-2013-166 is included below. Together, they are considered representative of the cognitive hazards generated by SCP-2163. Access to the documentation for other SCP-2163 cognitive hazards may be limited by clearance level. Item number SCP-2163-1995-201 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2163-1995-201 is contained using standard containment procedures for generic safe class communicable cognito hazards. Description SCP-2163-1995-201 is a sequence of 60 frames of film, approximately 2.5 seconds long, at standard playback speed, from the film Toy Story. The cognito hazard is located in the upper right corner of the screen and consists of a series of rapid changes in color and brightness caused by the gesturing of one of the characters. When viewed, this cognito hazard causes viewers to believe that they are sentient children's toys. Persons affected by this delusion will cease all voluntary muscle movement when in presence of unaffected persons. During production, several members of the film's animation team were affected by SCP-2163-1995-201 before it could be recovered by Foundation agents. These individuals were successfully treated with amnestics. Unaffected members of the production crew were those with amnestics when necessary to preserve secrecy. Item number SCP-2163-2005-058 Object Class Safe Euclid's of Entities Special Containment Procedures SCP-2163-2005-058 is contained using standard containment procedures for generic safe class communicable cognito hazards. Individuals affected by SCP-2163-2005-058 are to be contained in standard humanoid containment cells following the guidelines for containment of non-anomalous humans. Description SCP-2163-2005-058 is the entire initial narration track of the English version of the documentary March of the Penguins. Listening to the track triggers a strong migratory instinct among human listeners. Affected individuals have all expressed a desire to travel towards the nearest geographic pole. If prevented from doing so, these individuals become increasingly hostile towards their detainers, often resorting to violence in an attempt to escape. Amnestic treatments have so far met with no success, requiring the indefinite containment of affected individuals. SCP-2163-2005-058 was recovered by Foundation agents before it could be released. Individuals involved in the production of the film were those with amnestics, and a new narration track was recorded. Following standard protocols for the containment of semi-notable persons, individuals affected by SCP-2163-2005-058 have been retroactively removed from public records where possible, and replaced where not. Item number SCP-2163-2013-166 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures NA Description 
SCP-2163-2013-166 is the entirety of the documentary Blackfish. The film is a delayed response cognitive hazard that causes affected individuals to develop a hatred for the taste of fish and fish flavor items, and will begin to vigorously encourage others to do so as well. SCP-2163-2013-166 avoided detection by both Foundation and GOC monitoring systems, resulting in its public release and dissemination. Once its existence was discovered, a joint Foundation GOC research group was formed to develop an inoculation meme in order to prevent the collapse of the world fishing industry. This meme was then distributed via advertisements for Foundation front companies. A mass amnestization campaign, codenamed Operation Fish Food, was undertaken to treat those already affected by SCP-2163-2013-166. This campaign is considered a success, despite the US dollars in lost profits that occurred before its conclusions. In the wake of these events, Watchdog detection algorithms have been modified in such a way as to reduce the chances of a similar event reoccurring. The exact nature of these modifications is restricted to clearance level L3, Watchdog or above. And low. In situations like this, containment is indeed the right response. The reasons behind the origin of these cognitive hazards in film productions are still unclear. While the effects are not severe enough to warrant the eradication of such an important cultural element as cinema, they do require active efforts to prevent and stop their manifestation. It's moments like this, where the Foundation swallows its pride and agrees to cooperate, that gives me hope for their future. It suggests that our efforts might encourage them to evolve into an organization with greater respect for humanity's rights and obligations. Help us to continue our work by leaving comments and suggestions below. I am Virostris Anonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed.